Hey, so I had a couple of users recently ask me how to set up an uh, API endpoint that requires authentication between Xano and Bubble. Uh, so the great thing about Xano is there is nothing um, unique or crazy about the API endpoints, and we use standard RESTful APIs. The other thing to uh, note about Xano is we use JWE tokens for authentication or JSON web encryption tokens, which is just a standard on the internet. Uh, additionally, Xano passes that token in the header, okay? So with that in mind, let's go ahead and look at a couple things. First, let's look at uh, Bubbles documentation here. Um, and this page is just setting up a uh, external API with authentication. Uh, you can see right here, there's this option for private key and header. Now they tell you um, to do this method authorization, authorization key. But we know Xana uses JWE token, which has a uh, different setup. So if I jump just to here, we can see that it's actually um, authorization and then bearer and then the token um, that needs to be passed through the header. And you know, if you're not sure, I'll show you a neat trick in Xano right now where you can easily find that out. So if I jump back over to Xano here, and I'm just going to um, I'll just open a new API endpoint here. I'll start from scratch. I'll just call this example real quick. And I'm just going to go to the response here, and I'm just going to return this uh, HTTP headers environment variable right here. Uh, so if I hit save, and let's go ahead and enable authentication on this API endpoint. Um, so if I go ahead and I run this, and I have this auth token here in my header, and I run this, uh, we can see the headers that were sent. So now we can see the format for this authorization and then bearer, and then here is our entire token. So that's another neat trick that you can use in Xano to look at headers to understand how the auth token is passed. Um, so let's go ahead and now um, set this up in bubble. And I'm just gonna grab this endpoint right here, get auth me. Uh, which gets the user record belonging to uh, that authenticated user. So I'm going to grab this uh, right here, this endpoint, and let's jump to bubble. And I'm going to add a new uh, endpoint, and I'll call this uh, just example here. And so when we go to authentication here in bubble, we need to go ahead and select that private key in header. Okay. And then right here, they'll give you authorization. And then we actually need to put bearer in here and then we'll grab the token. But let me go ahead and actually paste in my endpoint URL right here for the API call. And it's using data and the type is JSON. So that is correct. And if we just jump back to Xano here and let's go ahead and I'll just grab that auth token from my run and debug. I'll hit this copy button and then let's come back to bubble. And then so right here, authorization, we have bearer and now I can just paste in that entire auth token and we're ready to initialize the call. And when we do that, we can see we will get the returned values of uh, that logged in user, which is just ID one, which is me. So we can save that. And uh, that's how you would just do an uh, authenticated endpoint connection between Xano and Bubble.